Welcome back to another AP Chemistry and General Chemistry video. I'm Jeremy Krug, and I'd uh, like to continue our discussion of acids and bases here in this complete AP Chemistry course on YouTube. Now, in our last video, we looked at these two equations here, uh, hydronium times hydroxide equals KW, and how we could go from one to this other equation, pH plus pOH, equals 14. We said that this equation right here is basically the same as that equation right there. Well, in this video, we're going to be working some problems, just some acid and base problems, mainly with strong acids and bases. So let's take a look at this one here. A solution has a pH of 9.32. We're going to calculate its H plus concentration. We're going to calculate its pOH and its hydroxide concentration. Let's start with part A here. We might remember from the last video that if you know pH, the way you find H plus is take 10 to the negative pH power. So we just have to take 10 to the negative 9.32, and we can key that into our calculator. And in fact, you probably have a dedicated anti-log button or you know second log gets you a 10 to the x, and you can key that in and find it's 4.79 times 10 to the negative 10. Now, how do we find the pOH? Well, if you know the pH, it's pretty easy, isn't it? pH plus pOH equals 14. So all we have to do is plug that uh, 9.32 here in for pH right there. And we're going to get that uh, basically 14 minus 9.32 is equal to our pOH, which is 4.68. Now, once we know... Uh, pOH, we can figure out the OH minus concentration pretty easily, can't we? There are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one way we could do this is just take, you know, hydroxide equals 10 to the minus pOH power. It works the same way. And so we just have to take 10 to the negative 4.68. And so we got find that that's equal to 2.09 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now, there's more than one way to answer this question. Some of you might have noticed that uh, you could also take, you know, OH minus is also going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by the H plus concentration, which we just calculated in this, in part A here. So we could plug that in. And when you do that, you will get the exact same answer. And so there are actually you know, at least two ways to solve this particular problem. Let's try another one. This time we'll have a base, a 5.00 gram sample of calcium hydroxide is dissolved into enough water to make 200 milliliters of solution. So we have four questions here. First of all, we're going to calculate the concentration of calcium hydroxide solution. B, we're going to calculate the concentration of hydroxide ion in solution. In part C, we're going to calculate the concentration of H plus ions in solution. And part D, we're going to find the pH of this solution. Now, part A is, is just a very simple solution chemistry, a solution stoichiometry question. We have to find moles uh, first of calcium hydroxide. You know, we have five grams of that stuff. So we're going to take the five grams of calcium hydroxide. And let's convert that to moles. So that means we have to have grams on the bottom one mole on top. We can add up the individual molar masses on the periodic table, and the molar mass is about 74.09 grams in a mole of this. So when I uh, cancel grams and divide, I get that there are 0 0.0675 moles of calcium hydroxide. Now concentration is moles per liter, isn't it? So how many liters of solution do we have? Well, 200 milliliters is, is the same as 0.2 liters, isn't it? So we divide it by 0.2 liters. And the molarity of calcium hydroxide, our answer to part A, is about 0.337 molar. So we have our answer to part A. Now, what about part B? Calculate the concentration of hydroxide ions. Well, we can take a look at the mole ratio here and notice that if we put calcium hydroxide on the bottom and hydroxide on the top, there are two hydroxides for every calcium hydroxide. And we know that because there's a little two right here, isn't there? That two tells us 
if there are two hydroxides in every one formula unit of calcium hydroxide. So if I cancel and multiply, I find that the molarity of hydroxide is actually twice what the molarity of calcium hydroxide was. It's 0.674 molar hydroxide. So we have parts A and B answered. Well, how about part C? Let's find the H plus uh, concentration. Well, if we know the hydroxide concentration, then we can plug it into this equation right here. And our 0.674 is going to go right in, whoops, going to go in right here for hydroxide. Almost put it in the wrong spot. And now we just have to take 1 times 10 to the minus 14th divide by 0.674. So our hydrogen ion concentration is really small. 1.48 times 10 to the minus 14th molar. Now if we know the hydrox or the hydrogen ion concentration, we can calculate the pH pretty easily, can't we? Just take negative log of H plus. And so when we key that into our calculator, we find that the pH is about 13.83. So this is not acidic at all. This is highly basic. But that makes sense because this is calcium hydroxide. It is a very basic solution. It's a strong base, isn't it? As we learned earlier in this lesson. Let's do one more problem before we stop for this video. Let's say we have a student who combines 100 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrogen or HCl, hydrochloric acid, with 200 milliliters of 0.3 molar nitric acid. Assuming that the volumes are additive, calculate the pH of the resulting solution. Now some students have a little trouble with these kinds of problems. Don't make them more difficult than they need to be. Remember that the way this works is we have one acid over here and we have another acid, a a acid over here and each of those acids is contributing a very specific number of moles of H plus ions. Right? So what we have to do is take the number of moles of H plus ions for both of those, add them together, and then divide by the total volume of solution. So let, let's do that. Let's find how many moles of H plus are coming from the HCl. So what we have to do here is we take the 0.1 liters times 0.5 moles per liter. You multiply that and it's 0.05 moles of H plus. That's uh, coming from just the hydrochloric. Now how much H plus is coming from the nitric? Well, we gotta do the same thing. This time we have to take 0.2 liters times 0.3 a molar. So when you do that, you get 0.06 moles of H plus. So we have these two amounts of moles of H plus. What's the total number of moles of H plus? Well, I'll just add them together. So 0.05 plus 0.06 is 0.11. So we have a total of 0.11 moles of H plus. Now we have to divide that by the total volume. What's our total volume? Well, we had 100 milliliters here and we had 200 milliliters over here. That's a total of 300 milliliters. They're additive, aren't they? So 300 milliliters or 0.3 liters total volume. When you divide that, we find that the molarity is about 0.367 molar of H plus. So we're almost there, aren't we? We just have to find the pH now, and that's negative log of H plus. So we take the negative log of that number, and we find that the pH of this strong acid solution is about 0 0.44. 0 0.44, very acidic, isn't it? And that's what you'd expect because these are both strong acids and you would expect strong acids to be, well, pretty acidic, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you learned something about how to solve uh, strong acid pH problems here uh, and some, uh, uh, some problems with, uh, with a strong base as well. If you learned anything from my video, if you'd please be so kind as to hit that thumbs up button, that way YouTube will share this video with some other chemistry students as well. Uh, I've been teaching AP Chemistry for over 20 years. My name is Jeremy Krug, and I want you to make a five on your AP exam, make an A in your general chemistry class. So join me again where we can learn some more acids and bases together.